Today, I'm going to show you a simple trick to install Windows 11 on any device. Even if Microsoft says your hardware isn't supported, no TPM, no secure boot, no problem at all. Alright, let's start. First, open your browser and head over to the official Microsoft website to download the Windows 11 ISO. Scroll down to the bottom and look for Download Windows 11 Disk Image ISO. Click the drop-down and choose Windows 11 Multi-Edition. Then click Confirm. Next, it will ask you to select your product language. Choose the language for Windows 11, click Confirm. And finally, click on 64-bit download. The ISO file is around 5.4 GB, so it'll take some time. I've already downloaded mine to save time, but once you've got it, you're good to go. Now, once the ISO is downloaded, open a new tab in your browser and search for Flyub. Hit enter, and click the first GitHub link you see. I'll also leave the link in the description so you can go straight there. Scroll down a little. On the right hand side, under releases, click on latest. Scroll down again, and you'll see Flyub 1.5 new. Click on download Flyub. Now, you might get a warning saying it's a suspicious file, so click download anyway, and you're fine. Once it's downloaded, open your downloads folder. You'll see it comes as a zip file. Right-click on it, select Extract All, and click Extract. Now open the folder that appears. Inside, you'll find the Fly application. Right-click it, select Run as Administrator. Go to the bottom where it says Select an option. Choose Select ISO from Local Computer. Then find the Windows 11 ISO you downloaded earlier. Select it, and click Open. Now you'll see it checking CPU, mounting ISO, and preparing everything. When it's done, the Windows Setup page will pop up. Don't panic if it says Windows Server, it's actually installing Windows 11, it's just using a small trick. At the bottom, click on Change How Setup Downloads Updates. Choose Not Right Now, and hit Next. It'll check your PC, and you'll see, no errors at all. Everything is bypassed. Click Accept. Then choose Keep Personal Files and Apps so you don't lose anything from Windows 10. Click Next. And finally, click Install. That's it. The installation will now start. Just wait patiently while it upgrades from Windows 10 to Windows 11. We've successfully upgraded to Windows 11 on unsupported hardware using this free tool. You can see right here on my desktop. All my applications, folders, and data are still here. Nothing got deleted. Now that you're upgraded, you can safely delete the ISO and the Flyab tool if you want. 